Hi guys, welcome back to another little geeky review of Turtles of Grey Skull Man at Arms. This guy is the weapons master in a half shell this time. On the back, you have got him fighting Krang there as well, which I've done a review on. So I think that's gone up before this one. It's got a little write up on this one though, so it's with He Man missing. Man at Arms knows all of Eternia is vulnerable to Skeletor's nefarious schemes. Fortunately, he meets four heroic brothers, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and together they can save the universe. And then it's got a little cross cell there, remove the shell armor to use as a shield, and all the other wave. So, is this the first wave, was it? I think, and I'm only just getting older this one. So let's crack him open, have a little closer look. He's definitely with the first wave because I remember this little comic by the power of pizza. Getting him straight out the box so he's got like that dark green, really dark green body on him. So a lot different than the usual man at arms. And that armour is proper orange. So he's all modular, like we know with the the head. Let's just quickly go through it. His head bobbles up and round, does pop off. The arms do a 360, bend at the elbow, pivot on the hand. They also, let's see. Bit of a tough one that one but that one also pops off the waist twist pops off the legs splay out back and forth knee bends pivot at the actual boot cuff and a pivot at the actual ankle as well as little waistbands is that quite flexible so it's more like a golden orange, I suppose. The thing is, they still come with these annoying little leg braces, I call them. And they just slide and they slip. And they just don't hold properly either. Even the arm one, it's like a shell. But it just, it doesn't stay put. Don't know what it is. I think it's every single man at arms type of armor. The arms and the actual leg ones, they just slide up and down. So just before I put his head back on, he's got this flexible like f imitation fear looking on the round the back and his shield or the half shell just pops off and it's in those little noblets there it's got a handle on the back of it where you can just clip into his hand and then he comes with this massive mace and you'll notice it's got a little connection now if you've got Donatello his mace will actually attach to that as well. But I'll just slap that in his hand just to show you first. So there he is. I'll just grab Donatello's mace and I'll show you what that looks like. So here they are both together. But just slide that out there. Let's take that shield back off. And then there's a little slot, so you can see actually how big this thing will connect. So just pop that in one side. So there he is. You could even just pop that back on. Man at Arms is back, or even palming off on Donatello. 
I'm not too sure about the, I suppose that's why I've put it off really this I didn't know whether to get the man at arms I weren't really I've seen a few reviews on YouTube about them and I just really wasn't sure I don't know what was putting me off with just this one I mean it is still really quite detailed I'm glad to be fair I'm glad I've got it it's like it's one of them things with collecting once you've started you know you've got to finish the actual wave off but is it the best man at arms no I wouldn't say it was it's probably one of me least ranked man at arms to be fair it just bugs me with these braces where they just slide where they just all slide on and off for it but let me know what you think drop your comments in the box and while you're there with those comments do the usual with the like subscribe tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others but thanks for checking in on this one and i will see you on the next take care